Mr. President, our thoughts are with the more than 37,000 Palestinians who have been killed, who have been killed by the Israeli occupying forces during this last eight months. Over 20,000 of them are women and children. These martyrs, for us, are alive with their lords. They are watching over us from heaven. Mr. President, we Algerian deeply feel the suffering of Palestinians and with our own history of struggle against colonial occupation, we fully understand and support their legitimate and just demands. As a free and dignified people, the Palestinians will never accept living under occupation. They will never abdicate their fight for liberation. From the start of our mandate in the Council, our objective has been and remains clear and unwavering to halt the massacres committed by the Israelis occupying forces in Gaza. During these dark times in human history, Algeria's sole guiding principle has been the preservation of Palestinian lives. We cannot stand by while the Israeli occupying forces continue to exterminate Palestinians. We also cannot remain silent in the face of this collective punishment to us, Mr. President. Palestinian lives matter. Palestinian lives matter. We voted in favor of the draft resolution submitted by the United States because we believe it can represent a step for, toward an immediate and lasting ceasefire. And I would like to extend our gratitude to the U.S. delegation, especially Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield, for their diligent efforts and for addressing some of our concerns in the final text. Algeria engaged during the negotiation process in good faith, working closely with Palestinian and mediators to achieve a resolution that ensure an immediate ceasefire and hopefully will have a tangible impact on the ground. Like any other product of the Security Council, this text is not perfect, but it offers a glimmer of hope to the Palestinians as the alternative is 
continued killing and suffering of the Palestinian people. We voted for this text to give diplomacy a chance to reach an agreement that will end the aggression against the Palestinian people that has lasted for far too long. It's time to halt the killing. Mr. President, this resolution ensures that, first, the immediate ceasefire will continue as long as negotiations continue. Mediators, the United States, Egypt, and Qatar will work tirelessly to reach an agreement on the second phase of the proposed deal. This one, this was one of our key concerns. Second, this resolution guarantees the return of Gazans to their home and neighborhood, including the north of Gaza, within six weeks. It counters the occupying power's attempt to empty the north of Gaza of its inhabitants. Third, the resolution sends a clear message no change, no change to Gaza's demographics or territory will be permitted. So, no buffer zones will be established in Gaza. And the Israeli occupation forces must withdraw from the entire Gaza Strip. Fourth, Given the unprecedented level of destruction in Gaza, which will take decades to clear, the international community, through this resolution, reaffirms its commitment to the Palestinian people and for the reconstruction of the Gaza Strip guided by its solidarity with the Palestinian people. My country, Algeria, will do its part and contribute to the international reconstruction effort. Fifth, this resolution reaffirms the international community's commitment to the establishment of a Palestinian state. Action by the occupying power to undermine the establishment of Palestinian state are futile. The resolute commitment of the international community will make the Palestinian state a reality soon. Mr. President, the continued barbarity by the occupying forces will only result in more senseless death, as we witnessed this weekend in the Nusayrat refugee camp. Such crimes against humanity cannot go unpunished. For those killed in Nusayrat and in all occupied Palestinian territories, for the Palestinian children and women, we reaffirm 
Algeria's commitment to accountability. For those responsible for killings and Palestine, of Palestinians, they will face justice. No one will be immune. None will be above the law. If, to conclude, Mr. President, if the International Court of Justice order are not enforced, and those responsible are not held accountable. Sooner or later, a new genocide looms on the horizon. Mr. President, it is evident that unless the root causes of the Palestinian tragedy are properly addressed, new tragedies, new catastrophe, new killing, and more suffering are inevitable. Therefore, our first objective must be the end of the occupation. And my country, Algeria, will remain steadfast in supporting the Palestinian people until they attain their inalienable rights, including self-determination and the establishment of their state with Al-Quds Sharif as its capital. I thank you. Th Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.